Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to rank the master items for the 94 flashback event. This is honestly going to be one of the most difficult rankings and I don't want I don't think I can do like it in a vacuum because I think that some cards are better depending on your team build and play style. So we're going to go through all that. I'm basically just going to rank it on how I would play and what I would view as an important card uh, and then kind of go from there. But I'll explain each one and why I think each one is important and would help you in your team because this is probably the best event in terms of um, every card being extremely valuable in terms of the master items. This is like team of the year, only they don't upgrade. What I just said in the prior video was basically it's like the beginning of the end game where we're starting to see cards that you know have really big impact. This isn't like an event like the 2030 event where it was like Hughes and, and Myers were the clear, were the clear uh, you know best bets to go out and get. All of these cards have a you know um, a pro to them to, to to upgrade your team. So guys, let's get into uh, the rankings of this and see which one I think is the best. All right, so coming in at number seven is pretty obvious. It's the '93 Onus Corpus Sal. Now, before uh, again, I need to say this doesn't mean that he's a bad card just because he's the worst of this master set list. He's a phenomenal goaltender in this game. At six foot three, he doesn't have the stat caps that the goaltenders that are six foot three and above have so again i've said this number of times but if you're just getting into hut maybe you don't know this year they started capping five stats for goaltenders as they get taller so the old meta was whoever's the biggest is the best like ben bishop now you're starting to see the goaltenders in that middle six foot range be you know valuable and usable so six foot three is a fine height for a goaltender um, and again, he his speed, his uh, rebound control, shot recovery, five hole, uh, and I believe breakaway, they aren't capped. They are up at 93 and above and uh, makes him a phenomenal goaltender. The only downfall is that there's no way that you could prioritize a goaltender over the other six cards in this list. He has distributor and swarm, which is phenomenal. But if you're going to spend close to a million on a goaltender, you might as well just make it Vasilevsky because he gets you out of synergy prison. So um, not that he's a bad card. He just obviously is the seventh best master set item in this set. All right, number six is going to be the 93 Dougie Hamilton. Now, again, I hate that I'm because I'm ranking it. It's going to make it sound like this card isn't good. This is, again, one of the best defensemen in the game as it's released the only knock on this card is that it has balance like the lamp and shutdown and outside of shutdown not a lot of people are going to be able to activate these two because well one balanced is you know uh, an afterthought there's still four other team based synergies that you'd rather have than balanced so that really doesn't help you then you have light the lamp which again it just really doesn't help you all that much especially for a defenseman and then shut down, while that is important and a good one, that one could actually be activated given the fact that a lot of top-end cards have shut down. So let's just go into the assumption that you'll, you'll be able to activate shut down with this card. So 6-6 six, six means that he's elite. He's one of the best in his own zone. He's uh, an incredible you know value in that sense. He'll get up to 92 speed with distributor, 94 acceleration, all amazing. And his slap shot's great too. His hand stats are all in the mid-90s, and defensively he's perfect. The only knock on this card is that there is already a defenseman that's huge in Philip Myers that's six foot five and you know has a little bit more synergy help than Dougie Hamilton. That's literally the only knock. That's the only reason why this card is number six and not higher on the list. There's a cheaper option that's very close, and this card's synergy base just doesn't really assist you. So Dougie Hamilton comes in at number six uh, in terms of the master set items for this event. Okay, now is where we're getting into the spot where it's based on teams and whatnot. So the 93 class bomb, there's definitely an argument this is the best left-handed defenseman not only in this set, but in the game. So before distributor obviously everyone has distributor if you're going to be able to afford this card you have distributor workhorse is again one of those synergies that outside of speedster and howitzer the next best one in my opinion very close to wingman one of those two um and it's just available on a lot of cards because they've gotten away from adding howitzer and speedster to top end cards um so that they're not overpowered so they put workhorse shut down all those kind of ones on it and it's very easy to activate workhorse so let's assume you can get these two. So his, his speed is capped at 91. Acceleration get up to 95 with Spark. His slap shot's great. Defensively, he's almost perfect. And he's six foot four. Um, the, the only reason, again, that I don't think he is better than the other left-handed defenseman in this set is just a couple of things like the synergies and shot. Like I. Like I said, this is all going to be hearsay, like all just debate, because it's a very, very close tie. 
And in some cases, I'd rather have Clefbaum. In some cases, I would rather have OEL. But we'll talk about that in a second. I think that his speed or his skating is just a little bit less than OEL. And that's the only reason I've chosen Oscar Clefbaum at number five and not OEL. So um, keep that in mind. Either one of these is incredible, and you won't be disappointed with either. The 93 OEL, in my opinion, again, he's six foot two, not six foot four. So there's a little bit of a size advantage to OE or to Clefbaum, but it's not like six foot two is small. So Swarm and Wingman are two synergies that almost everyone is going to have activated at this point. With Spark, he gets up to 97 acceleration, 94 speed with Distributor. His shot touches the mid to high 90s, and then hand stats are all fantastic. Passing is at 99. With Swarm on, he's got perfect. Perfect defensive awareness, perfect stick checking, and then if you have Spark, his body checking goes even higher. This is is very, very close to an end game card, and something I should mention about all of these, almost every single card, outside of Corpus Allo and Hamilton, in my opinion, I think you could make untradeable and have on your team the entire rest of the game and not be upset that you can't move on from them, because like I said, the, the speed will not touch 99 on these big cards. Like, Speed progression going up by 0.5, you already see it. A lot of the bigger cards can't get up that high. So, um, you know, anywhere between 94 and, 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 and above, really, or 93 and above, just, you know, it's it's almost good enough for the rest of the game. But this card's incredible. I also like the wrist shot boost he gets from Wingman because now his wrist shot's almost perfect. And wrist shots from the point in this game have been sneaky if you can fire a lane um, on either side of the goaltender. So number um, number four is the OEL. Next one up, again, another one up for debate. Like, there's really, it, there's, a, there's a case to be made for all of these next three. So Swarm, Wingman, and Howitzer. Three synergies that are awesome, and this card specifically helps out a lot of players just because he touches on three extremely usable synergies. He's six foot two, so that's amazing size. He has almost uh, maxed out body checking. If you have Spark, he does. With Distributor, he gets up to 92 speed. That's the only reason that he's at third because the other two are just almost maxed out, and, you know, that's the only knock. However, he's a bit bigger. His shot is perfect with Wingman and Howitzer, like legitimately almost perfect. Defensive awareness and stick checking are both capped with Swarm on. Like, this is one of the best, if not the best, left-handed cards in the game. It's basically a Leon Dreisaitl team of the year. Um, so, you know, like, just an incredible card all the way around. And uh, one of the best, like I said, in the game. If you need left-handers more than right-handers, which a lot of people do, that's why I think that this card would probably bump up to number one or maybe number two. But that's all going to depend on your team build. But this is still an incredible card. And uh, you would not be upset if you, you know, used this card to, um, you know, make him untradeable. Again, all three synergies are valuable, so that is extremely helpful. Coming in at number two is the 93 Steven Stamko. So the one thing, again... Um, as opposed to Matthew Kachuk, where all three of those synergies are a little bit more important to activate. Um, Steven Stamkos gives you three options that are all very usable. And again, Shutdown and Workhorse are very makeable as well. So this card fit in perfectly on my team because I literally needed one Shutdown, one Workhorse to activate those two synergies on top of Speedster, Howitzer, uh, and Wingman. So like, when you have all of it activated... You know, acceleration is 99. His agility was with Swarm, 99. Speed, 96. His shot, basically perfect. Uh, and then all of his hand stats, 99. Like, there's very little that you can improve upon on this card when you have those synergies activated. And again, if you're going to be able to afford these cards, you're probably going to be in that spot where you have a lot of synergies on. And there's an outside chance, like, 86 faceoffs won't kill you, but if you have to put them at center, that's still an option. So... Coming in at number two is the Steven Stamkos. The, you know, he's just, this is an incredible card. Like, there's no other way to say it. Um, phenomenal all the way through. And uh, if you had Patrick Line, I would sell him for this. Um, while Line is great in terms of uh, size, this card helps you out a lot more. Um, and uh, just, you know, incredibly fast with an unbelievable shot. So, Steven Stamkos comes in at number two. And then number one is the 93 Sidney Crosby. So, again, this is going to depend on team, but I'm, I'm just trying to think of, you know, the viewers that I watch, they might be only able to afford one, so that's why I want to talk through this and why I think Sidney Crosby's number one. First of all, Barrage is a helpful synergy. Outside of Swarm, Spark, and, and Distributor, even Swarm, I would say Barrage is probably more important than Swarm. It's just easier to activate, so unless you're hut rich, you're probably not even getting to that fourth synergy. 
Um, but I do think Swarm is still a very important uh, synergy because stick checking defense awareness are so important. It's just not as you know, it's not as hot as you know uh, the other the these one these other ones. But nonetheless, Speedster. So he gets 93 speed before Distributor. So that's 96. And then again, Acceleration. We get up to 95. Agility with Swarm is 99. Balance and Endurance is great. His shot is in the mid 90s. Hand stats are basically maxed out. And then defensively, 95 stick checking, 95 defensive awareness. Again, with um, Swarm, that's oh, that's maxed. And then body checking, that's a little low, but with, with Spark, again, that's up a bit higher. The one thing I will say is that if you can activate Thief on this card, you will never have to get, you'll never have to replace this card. Because that alone will keep him valuable on your team for the rest of the game. It's the one thing that centers have above all other cards is that, that, that face-off stat to get possession right off the draw is so important because as we get higher into the game, if you don't have that high 90s face-off, there could be key moments in every game that you lose because you don't win the draw or you both do a tie-up or you both do a backhand straight back and you lose because your face-offs aren't as high. With 98 face-offs, you never have to worry about that. Now, obviously, Thief is not a synergy that a lot of people can activate, but if you can, it makes this card even better. Even if you can't, 93 face-offs is elite regardless. Um, so the other thing is, with 96 speed and 95 acceleration, even if you don't want to put him on center, this is an elite left winger. That's why I think that he is the most valuable, because he gives you the most roster flexibility, and again, with Barrage, it will there will come a time where you can activate more team-based synergies, so it's not like he has balanced or heart and soul, which is just going to be an afterthought or something that you activate at the very end, and he comes with Speedster, so it's just an all-around, It's there's an argument to be made for Kachuk, there's an argument to be made for Stamkos um, as number one, um, and there's an argu argu obviously an argument to be made for Clefbaum and OEL at number one. They're all incredible. It's just, um, you know, it it's all personal preference and, and just value, I think. And I think the Crosby is just extremely valuable. All right, guys, the other thing I want to mention here, uh, the 94s. So the 94s you can only get in packs. You can't get them in sets, which I actually kind of like because if you pack that card, that's an incredible an incredible like swag play like that is a flex among you know all flexes in this game and i think that the plus one should get that and the one thing i will notice is that you get two to the synergy the team-based synergy which is a huge bump up i don't know if i would recommend going after any of the 94s because like they are going to be uh, over a million for each one and there's not going to be many up ever so keep that in mind. I don't think unless you were, unless you're a, like, you know, just a, a hut lord, you have the bankroll of, you know, just a god, then maybe. But the 94 is best left to just if you pull them. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't chase after them. They're so the, the advantage is really just the two to team based synergy, but the one isn't going to kill you. So um, that is the ranking for this. Now let's go take a look at uh, the sunset sets because I did want to mention that. All right, guys, now let's talk just about the auction house and, and the cost of some of these. So the Hamilton, other than the Corpus Salo, again, I would not recommend buying the Corpus Salo. If you're going to spend that much money on a goaltender, just get Vasilevsky or save up for it. Let's talk first about the OEL real quick, again, in terms of cost. This one seems to be the least popular among like the, the top end. Well, they're all top end. Anything around six fifty, that's a that's a pull for sure. Crosby again, it seems to be cheap, but I think it's because there's a ninety one available. Six fifty around this range, again, I would pull the trigger on that. Uh, Stamco seems to be uh, you know the one, and same with Matthew Kachuk, seem to be the ones that have the hardest time dropping. So seven hundred, wow, seven hundred for that. Anything under 700 for Matthew Kachuk is a great buy. And again, they should go down next Wednesday, guys. Remember, with two-week events, um, the next week, you know, people are going to make these. A lot of people are going to make these, okay? So the more people that have them, you know, the less that are going to need to buy them. And that the demand will be a lot less. But then when Wednesday happens and everyone opens up their rivals and hut champs packs and more hit the market, it should be at its lowest. So check out next Wednesday. That's going to be probably the time that you can go out and buy it. So Stamkos, again, anything under seven, it's even seven fifty is a pretty good buy. I bought mine for seven twenty. And then Matthew Gachuk is around seven as well, seven fifty. So I just wanted to keep that in mind in terms of the market value and what you should pull the trigger at. Let me know what you got and, and what you think is uh, take a look at my lineup real quick as I got Stamkos on that first line and then I was able to get OEL. So, uh, again, guys, let me know what you think in the comments section down below. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, I'll see you guys next time.